guys, so I'm actually like super excited and super blessed to be back in LA. Uh, if you have been watching my videos for the past few weeks, you may have noticed that they're a little awkwardly filmed or just weird. Well, that's because I was in Seattle for like almost a month because I got my wisdom teeth pulled. I kind of wanted to talk about that whole story and whole situation because it was so terrible and traumatic and just what I'm hoping for this specific video is to maybe help one or two people so they don't have to go through the pain that I was in. Because I had not been in that much pain probably like my whole life. Swear. I swear. Long story short, growing up, like my teeth were very, very small. I have kind of a wider mouth, but my teeth are small. So the dentist, the orthodontist all kind of thought like, oh yeah. Um, it's not gonna be a problem but if it does start to become a problem, you know, we'll sign you up uh, Like just get you scheduled to get them removed blah 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 I don't know if they actually just told me that when I was younger because they did my dentist knew that I literally was terrified of the dentist So maybe they were just telling me that when I was younger, you know uh, Just because like they didn't want to freak me out or anything so I never really thought that my wisdom teeth were a problem you know they kind of came in with my regular molars it just felt normal because they've been in my mouth since I was like in seventh grade they started growing also like my teeth I've just been really blessed with terrible teeth not that I don't brush my teeth or anything obviously I do I take care of my teeth I don't know if it's genetics or what but I've just always had the worst luck with cavities fillings literally every single tooth of mine has a cavity and I still have to go back to Seattle to get fillings. <laughs> Fuck my life. I'm also someone that likes to avoid things. So yeah, I did do this to myself basically. Before I moved to LA, I w had gone to the dentist. I had to get a lot of fillings done, but since there was just so many, like I was moving to LA, I had lockjaw because of braces, and it was just like, oh my gosh, like I'm just gonna, I'm screw it, I'm, I'm just gonna come back you know and get the fillings done later on let me just move to LA you know who wants to go to the dentist I never went around to getting those cavities filled um, I've been out in LA for what almost two years so it had been two years but I started to feel pain which I was really freaking out like holy shit like if I have a root canal I'm going to die like I was like I don't want to get a root canal I noticed that my gums started really bleeding since my mouth has always been like sensitive I was like okay like maybe it's fine I started getting a lot of pain like right down here I looked in my mouth and saw that my wisdom tooth was literally like impacted in my jaw and there was like it was all ripped and then I just started getting major pressure like within my like molars like the back molars but it just started to get so freaking bad that I was like no way when I call my mom or say that I need a doctor and I need to go immediately that's when you know something's wrong everyone in my family knows that my friends know that if I say like yo take me to the doctors now they're like okay shit this bitch should have been going to the doctor months ago because she just she let it go that far because I'm so I couldn't sleep, I couldn't do anything, and then finally I call my dad, I call my mom, I book a flight, I tell him I'm coming to Seattle to get my wisdom teeth removed, someone call the freaking dentist, someone schedule me appointments, because I'm coming right now. I cannot wait, like literally called, booked the flight within three hours I was at the airport. So I'm literally sitting on the plane, right, about to take off and I get a text message. Oh, looks like you got a call back from an audition that you did. I was like, I was like, what? And it says, oh yeah, your callback time is tomorrow at 2.30 p.m. I was like, I'm on a plane. What? I didn't think I got a call back. This was even, this was my first audition and I had gotten a call back. Didn't think I was going to get a call back because it was one of my first auditions and I was just like, what? I was aware that the shooting date was like that coming weekend, but since I hadn't heard from them and it was like later in the week, I was like, okay, like I didn't get it, like I'm fine, like I'm in so much pain, I'm just gonna leave. But I called my manager and I was like, uh, I'm literally sitting on a plane right now, I didn't know that I was gonna get a call back. 
Because I had so much anxiety and stuff, the way that I put it, it kind of sounded like I already knew that I was getting this procedure done, blah, blah, blah. I didn't really mention that it was an emergency when I was on the phone because talking on the phone gives me anxiety, especially when I have to tell someone like that I might not be able to make something. Like I was just freaking out. I didn't want to make my managers look bad. They sent me to this audition and then I get a call back and then I'm like, ah, I can't show up. Like I was like, oh my goodness. I didn't want anyone to think like, oh, she's not really, um, she doesn't really take this stuff seriously. Um, so I literally get off the plane. I land in Seattle, go home for like five minutes, book a flight Five hours later, everyone's like, house should come first, blah, blah, blah. I was like, I'm fine. Like, the thing is like this weekend, the callback's tomorrow. I can do it. I'm tough. I've been holding it off for so long. What's another three or four freaking days? whoop de doo Once I land back in LA, I come home and I take a nap, real quick nap, before the audition, right? I wake up from my nap with blood gushing everywhere I didn't I was like what the heck I didn't even notice because Loki sometimes I'd be drooling when I sleep like not even gonna lie because I sleep with my mouth open so like I was like wiping it I was wiping it off my face you know super super attractive I know right and I looked down at my hands and there was blood and I was like oh my god I was like I'm dying I'm gonna die it was so bad but what do I do Put on my makeup, wash all my sheets of trying to get this much blood out of my sheets was impossible. Like, it's, there's still stains. And it all came from my mouth. Got all washed off, made sure I was on fleek for this audition. Call my Uber, skirt, skirt to the audition. I, at this point, I was still, I was just in so much pain where I don't even know, like, if I even did good. I was just thinking, like, you know what, at least I showed up and didn't just not go. So they really do know that I'm taking this seriously. So, um, since it was a callback, you know, you're supposed to wait to see if you get it. I was planning on staying in LA until I heard back, you know, because I didn't want to be on a plane again and then having to get called back. But when I get home from the audition again, um, I get a call from my mom and her friend gets on the phone because apparently her wisdom teeth got impacted as well. And she told me that I needed to go to urgency care immediately because it was just going to get worse from there. Now, I live alone out here. If I was put under some type of like anesthesia, I have no one here to take care of me or look after me. I'm not about to go to the ER, realize that something is even worse, or I need to go into emergency surgery, not having anyone pick me up and me being like, crazy after this procedure you know and uh getting in an uber like who the i'd probably tell him to take me to vegas or something i was like no way like i'm not going to the i'm not going to the er my mom made a joke she's like yeah she's just gonna go out and turn up so she can't feel it and it's just gonna make it worse like she was being sarcastic and i was like no but i definitely went out and you know what Mothers know best people. Go always listen to your mom. I'm guilty for getting too lit. Leaving the club without telling anyone. Literally disappeared on all my friends. They had no idea where I went. I was just in so much pain that I left. Like I was like, I can't, I can't. I came home. I woke up looking like I got my wisdom teeth removed before the wisdom teeth were even pulled out. This whole side of my face was completely like chipmunked out and I slept in my makeup the night before and you know what? I was in so much pain. I booked a ticket without even with my mom and my dad not even answering. Texted my manager saying, hey, I'm sorry, but I'm in so much pain. I need to go to Seattle. Like there's no way I can do anything. Um, at this point, I actually was starting to have trouble breathing because my throat started swelling from the infection in my mouth. Yes, I it ended up starting to get infected, um, which was great. But I literally hopped on the plane, like, looking hungover, 
and looking like I got beat up the night before like oh my god it was so bad I'm like at the airport right I'm walking through security and there's like this terrible smell and everyone's just like ew like what's that smell and like I could smell it and I was just like ew like who is that like that smells so bad like it was terrible like people were like spraying for breeze and shit the smell ended up going away for a while but anyways you know at the airport I finally got a hold of my mom and my dad they knew I was coming my mom immediately got me squeezed in for the next day for my wisdom teeth to be pulled so I was like hallelujah I land in Seattle I'm telling you I wanted to die I felt like I was gonna die um, I could not swallow or anything it was like taking every time I swallowed it was like taking super sharp nails and just scratching and digging in to your lovely throat I couldn't eat at this point my mouth could barely open I was like how the hell are they even gonna get my wisdom teeth out because I can't open my mouth all I wanted to do was sleep until I got to the dentist um I was about to rip them out myself at this point but good thing I didn't because who knows where that would have ended up that would have been a whole nother story um but anyways I wake up in the middle of the night and I start to go like you know and like <laughs> that was weird but I started to do that and I felt something like in my throat I thought I was like going to like like if I were to do that like any harder that like my intestines were gonna start coming up or something I couldn't breathe because I was having a panic attack and I'm like I'm I go into my mom's room I said mom I need the ER right now I cannot wait until the dentist I need the ER I cannot breathe this is past pain I cannot breathe my mom's like just go back to sleep it's almost time like relax you're gonna be fine and I'm like no I'm not gonna be fine like I can't breathe right now but you know like I was being probably over dramatic because I was having a panic attack but I was just like don't tell me to relax like you do not know what I am feeling right now get me to the ER but I did not go to the uh, ER I patiently just sat there like shaking like, oh God, I'm, like I'm just like please help me finally the time comes and I get to go to the dentist so I'm like super excited like oh my gosh oh my gosh like I bring a blanket like I'm all wrapped up my face looks like I already had surgery no joke I'm wrapped up in my blanket just sitting waiting for the dentist and I just go in the seat and I'm just like telling like every time they leave the room I'm like I look at my mom like I need these motherfuckers to get out of my freaking mouth right now they start like looking up looking at my teeth they say that they this is when they told me it was infected they're like whoa like you can't open your mouth blah 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 then the uh, dentist like asked me like did you notice your breath and I was like no he's like yeah like it smells like super bad like basically he didn't say it like that but he basically was saying that I had stank ass breath okay um which is great and so he starts numbing my mouth up blah 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 realizing at this point I'm realizing that I am not getting put under I'm not getting put on any drugs or anything I'm going to be completely conscious when I get these things pulled so yeah there's another thing believe it or not though the pain that I went through the past like week of the the terrible excruciating pain the wisdom teeth did not hurt whatsoever and I love my dentist he's literally the most amazing dentist ever like honestly on God he is amazing terrible <laughs> don't get stitches or anything uh yeah I was numb so I couldn't feel anything I was just so blessed and so happy that these things were out of my mouth my face at this point really was swollen once I was done I was all like I went home and the pain I'm not gonna lie it did start to hurt afterwards I took some like painkillers um, not like a crazy amount the healing process obviously I had to sleep with like gauze and have gauze in my mouth because obviously 
I didn't have stitches, it just bled a lot. I was wearing a jacket to sleep and like I was like sleeping like this and I started, I literally smelled it, right? I was like, what the fuck? The smell at the airport was literally my breath. So I had people at the airport for breezing my breath. So I don't even know how long I was having like dank breath. So do not allow your wisdom teeth to get impacted because you will be in living hell. And yeah, take care of your mouth, take care of your health and do that because I learned my lesson and just say, you know what, I'm in pain the doctor you know like that's what they're there for to help you I feel free my mouth feels free not only did my mouth just feel so tight because they were all impacted but like now I just feel like woo I feel lit you know that's it for this video make sure to follow me on all my social media links they will all be linked down below in the description box yeah um, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye!